Hello and welcome to the videos on securitytube.net. This is a part of IPv6 video series and then in this video we will be seeing what are the addressing possibilities in IPv6 or IP version 6. In IP version 4 there were only two possibilities of addressing. First was manual or hand configured with the help of if config command in Linux we can give the IP address like if config interface name and IP address or in Windows if we go to the properties section of that network connection we can easily give the IPv4 static address and the second possibility was with the help of DHCP or, or dynamic host configuration protocol server so, so DHCP server used to give the proper IP address which was there present in the DHCP pool now in between these two possibilities manual and stateful or stateless by the server of DHCP server some autonomous addressing possibilities have been inserted in IPv6 to make IPv6 devices plug and play so without configuring manually or through DHCP server if, if you just connect IPv6 subnet to the Ethernet cable it should be able to get the IP address by itself and it should start communicating by itself so that all autonomous features have been added in IPv6 the first addressing method is manual or address configured by hand so in windows machine i can open my manage network connection currently i have connected through my local area connection so i can open properties section in properties section if i actually click on ip version 6 ip version 6 protocol in properties now here i can give manually the ip address so say if my ip address is fe 80 colon colon some 1122 something like that i can also give the subnet prefix how much subnet i have to use the 64 subnet i can also give the gateway ip address it is exactly same as ipv4 address so as in ipv4 i was able to give the ip address subnet mask and gateway i can also give in ipv6 statically in unix like systems you can easily use if config command so if config say your interface is eth0 h0 then you can give if config h0 and the ip address say fe80 colon colon 00011223 and the ip address which you want to give giving a static ip address for every device is not a scalable thing for administrator so the second possibility for IPv6 addressing is autonomous address here host creates address with no external interaction so for example link local address now how to find out what address is being assigned so if I give IP config command on windows machine and slash slash all I will be able to see all my IP addresses and here this is my local area connection so my physical address or MAC address was 001D0954B229 my IPv6 link local address is FE80 colon colon 2ND9FFFE54B228 if you see any correlation in these two addresses the IPv6 link local address is created with the help of EUI64 conversion so this MAC address is being converted to EUI64 address to get the IPv6 link local address I have created a separate video for how to convert MAC address to EUI64 address you are advised to see that video for more details for communicating over internet machines cannot use this autonomous address because the prefix part for this autonomous address was FE80 and since FE80 will be common for all the devices on all the machines the routing will suffer so to solve that problem a semi autonomous addresses were created so host will create address by combining a priory information and some external information so for these semi autonomous addresses a router discovery messages are sent so for creating the semi autonomous addresses a router a prefix will be sent by the router and machines will use the router prefix and the autonomous address last 48 last 60, 64 bits to create this semi autonomous address so for example router prefix was 2233 then the semi autonomous address will be 2233 double colon and the 64 bits of this autonomous address which were created with EUI64 format 
the assumption behind creating this autonomous and semi autonomous address was the unique mac address if mac addresses are unique no two machines can have same autonomous or link local addresses but in case someone has spoofed the mac address then the autonomous address will be also get duplicated in that case what to do to solve these problems after assigning any address c say if autonomous address is being assigned to interface by itself then that node will be transmitting some neighbor discovery packets which are icmp v6 packets now with this neighbor discovery packets if a neighbor advertisement packet is received by that node then some other steps will be performed so that the ip address clashing will not be happening next possible addressing scheme is stateless server here host queries a server and gets an ip address from that server server will not maintain a state for this ip address or it is kind of a permanent address for that machine now along with dhcp ip address the machine will be also getting gateway information or other parameters like dns information etc etc the last possibility in addressing is stateful server it is exactly like stateless server like host will query a server and will get a address the only difference is server will maintain a state so server will be giving the ip address from its pool and server will be looking for the lease expiry after lease expiry the host has to again query a server to get a new lease or new ip address one more question that you will be having about this autonomous and semi autonomous addresses that is link local address or this router discovery address will be okay i have got the ip address autonom automatically but what about the gateway ip address or what about the other information like dns prefix and dns ip address and etc now ipv6 has taken care of this by inserting a flag in this router discovery if the router discovery has some specific flag inserted then the server then the host will do a server query for this dhcp server and from this dhcp server it will get other informations like gateway ip address dns suffix and etc that's it about addressing video on ipv6 i am going to upload more videos on ipv6 on securitytube.net on more ipv6 addressing stuff and routing stuff feel free to mail me your concerns and doubts i will try to solve those with more videos on securitytube.net thank you